Do we have too much government? We need to put uh, people in ahead of corporate profits. This system is so lopsided. This threat is a real threat to democracy. And I think that's really important. That's something we haven't been doing in this country for a long time. Where do you start? What do you do? How do you do it? Access to Democracy and other Egan Community Television programming is supported by Thomson Reuters, makers of Westlaw Next and based in Egan. Through Westlaw Next and other innovative online services, Thomson Reuters is the world's leading source of intelligent information for businesses and professionals. Online at ThomsonReuters.com and by U.S. Federal Credit Union, the member-owned financial institution offering service, value, and experience you can trust to the greater Twin Cities community. Hi, I'm Roxanne Meshar. Welcome to Access to Democracy. And we have a very interesting guest today, Maoli uh, Yanatan, who is well known for his work in solar technology. And our viewers might be aware that Egan is pretty well known as one of the cities with the highest patent rates per capita. We attract a lot of innovative and inventive engineers um, to Egan. And Molly, in fact, is one of those inventive engineers who does the develops the latest technology in solar power. So we're going to talk about solar energy today. Molly, welcome to Access to Democracy. Nice to have you with us. <laughs> Thank you, Misha. Thank you. Um, so I would like to start with, tell us a little bit about your background. How did you happen to get into this? area and um, how did you I know you describe yourself as a serendipitous entrepreneur so maybe you can say a little more about that sure um, I uh, was uh, moved uh, to Minnesota uh, under false pretenses and uh, I was left in a, in a state of uh, economy which was uh, crumbling and then um, I started uh, Maoli engineering uh, just to uh, make sure that we can provide very good uh, uh, engineering uh, services in the renewable energy uh, area. Uh, we started our business in uh, January of uh, 2009 and uh, I've always uh, been interested in uh, solar energy. In fact, uh, my uh, paper in my undergraduate was on solar energy in 1985 and um, uh, it was not uh, 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 you know, a big fad in 1985, mm -hmm. uh, solar energy was not, but now it is, and so uh, uh, I, I truly believe in solar energy. It's the most potent uh, energy known to man, and uh, my background uh, is built around that uh, at the present time. Uh, we. Um, from my education uh, and my engineering experience uh, all uh, cumulatively uh, add up to make uh, uh, a very successful business. I'm uh, really proud of our business. Uh, the, the place where we are now, uh, the competitive advantages we have. Uh, it's certainly a booming area and solar energy is about 10% of our total energy in this country or somewhere close to that, but it needs to be much, much more than that going forward. And Europe, of course, is maybe in some countries close to 50% of their energy is solar powered and we could do that here. There's no reason why we couldn't do that. Um, so tell us a little bit about what Maoli Engineering does. So you're going to tell us a little bit about uh, what that business is all about. Sure. Um, as I said, Maoli Engineering, uh, we started in uh, January 2009. Uh, we had several ideas uh, in, in the renewable energy uh, space. Uh, we have patents uh, in, in the solar energy and uh, energy efficiency spaces. Um, one of our key products uh, is the solar pod crown, uh, which, is, uh, which we introduced uh, about a year or so uh, ago, uh, which is uh, a revolutionary product uh, that has no roof uh, penetrations uh, when you put it on a gable roof, and whether the gable is um, uh, 
a pitch, a gable roof is a, is a sloped roof. A sloped roof. So this is a huge innovation because up till now, solar energy always requires some kind of nailing into the roof, which now your roof could leak. So, I mean, the, the membranes of the roof are, are uh, the integrity is broken. Correct. So without having to use nails, it's huge improvement. Exactly. And, and we have wind tested it uh, and recently by a, a very big uh, company in Colorado and they have uh, approved us uh, for up to 130 mile per hour winds, oh, which wow. is pretty much the entire uh, United States. Yes. And the, the nails not only prevent uh, water leaks, most importantly, it does not damage your roof uh, because any, any hole you put uh, on a roof is uh, essentially degrading the roof quality. Correct. Uh, and so this is a, a very uh, important uh, innovation that we have come up with. Now, especially for older buildings. So perhaps people who are thinking about solar energy, but they have an older home. Maybe they have a Victorian or they have a home that was built in the 1940s, uh, they might not feel it would be such a good thing to be putting all the nail holes in the roof to hold sure. a panel up there, but with a solar crown, for example, sure. it's a possibility, correct? Oh, most certainly, and right. and that's the biggest uh, advantage uh, of it. On, and on top of that, there is a significant cost savings on, on even installing uh, the system because you're not putting any uh, nails, uh, the, the amount of labor uh, that you spend on the roof is uh, significantly uh, so it's reduced. Less. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we were, uh, I mean I was just uh, talking to a customer uh, yesterday in California and uh, we estimated uh, nearly 30% reduction in, uh, in the labor uh, time uh, by using uh, our, our That's technology. That's significant, 30% reduction. Correct. Definitely. Uh, now solar panels um, do require an upfront investment and you do see a payoff on that over time but primarily I think people do it because they know it's the right thing to do for the environment for the planet for our carbon footprint so uh, just in the same way people might want to go to farmers markets because they want to purchase food that's closer to home and hasn't been shipped um, halfway across the globe to reduce that carbon footprint that I think would motivate would that be correct the reason people do sure. it here? Yeah, uh, very true. I, uh, I think solar energy uh, is there uh, you know, uh, everywhere. Uh, Germany has about two-thirds the amount of sun as Minnesota does mm -hmm. and they have you know literally hundred times more solar than we do here in Minnesota. So there is no reason for us not to uh, to, to promote uh, solar energy and the advantage of solar energy is that once you have it, once you put it, it's going to be there for, there's no fuel costs uh, for it and, and it provides local jobs, uh, it, it provides a, a very uh, uh, environmentally beneficial uh, product. Um, job production is huge because we have so many industries now that are in the process of declining and a lot of manufacturing jobs that are um, no longer exist or are diminishing and this is an area that's growing like crazy so offers huge opportunity going that's forward. Correct, correct. Uh, and, and in the the installation jobs are, are phenomenal. Uh, you know we can in, in California they did close to a gigawatt of installations last year and that's a you know a lot of a uh, lot of people put to work in California alone and if we can do that uh, in in Minnesota uh, that that'd be great I mean I was just looking at uh, at uh, the amount of uh, activity that's happening in solar and it's it's uh, phenomenal and the costs have come down it's very affordable you know if you buy a system from us uh, you are going to be seeing a payback of anywhere from eight to ten years so if a consumer uh, or a homeowner let's say wanted say I wanted to purchase uh, solar uh, solar panels for my roof. Um, would I call you directly, or where would I find your product? Uh, very good question. Um, we sell our products through uh, uh, sales our sales channels uh, like uh, Lowe's Home Improvement, Menards, and Northern Tool. Uh, Northern Tool is a Burnsville company, mm -hmm. a local company mm -hmm. that is carrying our our product as well. So you can go go to them and buy it. You your can local buy home improvement store then, by and large, should have it for you. Sure. Yeah. Or contact you, perhaps. Yeah, you can also contact contact us uh, directly mm -hmm. and we will uh, ship it uh, to you. We ship to all the 
uh, states uh, in the US. Um, the installation is very simple. Any, any electrician, local electrician can install these. Uh, we have... Uh, so it doesn't require anything special in terms of uh, training correct. or whatever. Um, we do have some pictures, I think, of some of the products so consumers or people who might be interested can see what they look like. And I know the city of Egan already has uh, started or kicked the ball off uh, with your products because there was a bit of an installation there too. I don't know if they can start to show some of the product pictures, but perhaps they can put them up on the screen for us here. Yeah, we uh, last year uh, was one of a uh, very good years for us uh, in in our business wise. So uh, we donated uh, two solar pods uh, to the city of Egan, uh, and they uh, took those two s solar pods. Uh, the, the, these and are here's, the two. here's a picture of one right here. So this is Goat Hill Park. So many of uh, Egan residents perhaps are familiar with this, but here are some solar pods working right here. Uh, from your company that were put in, correct? Correct, and, and uh, from the city of e Egan, uh, I come to understand that uh, about 20% of that park is powered by the sun now Isn't by just two cards. Yeah. Uh, so, um, you know, I think this is a beginning for, for you know, good future. For, good things for ahead. Next correct. picture, what have we got coming up here? Can we see the next one? Here we go. So what is this? This is uh, the first solar pod crown, which is the no roof penetration okay. system. Uh, this was installed in, in Sunnyvale, California. And, uh, you know, s the, the reason it's important is uh, Sunnyvale, California is right in the heart of uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, in a sense, there is a marriage between Minnesota and Silicon Valley yeah. <laughs> uh, through this uh, product. And, and it's and sitting right on the, you see the line across the shadow on one side is the downside of one half the roof and the lighted side there, the brighter correct. side is the other half the roof. So it's just sitting over the top of it, bent in like a teepee, uh, basically sitting on the roof. Yeah, it's so, so we, we use the peak of the roof, uh, which is the ridge of the roof, uh, effectively, and we have special brackets uh, made uh, for, for this, uh, purpose. But no nails with this. There are no nails. These are special brackets that go on the ridge of the roof. So uh, nothing will damage your shingles, nothing will no your, damage your tile. If you have a tiled roof or cedar shingles or anything like that, nothing breaks Correct. the integrity of the roof. Could we see another, the next picture please? So now you get a, this, a sense of it here. Yeah, this is this is a, a system that was uh, uh, installed here in, in the Twin Cities. This is in, in Minneapolis. Um, and uh, in, it's, it's, it was uh, installed in just one day. It's a three kilowatt system. It was, uh, we started in the morning and we ended up uh, with a system. So uh, three kilowatts. So for somebody who doesn't know about electricity, does that mean what? That means I can power my whole house with that or part of my house with that? Or what does that mean, three kilowatts? Um, good question. Um, the, the size of the solar system that you would need for your home uh, will depend on your consumption. Uh, you know, it's related to your consumption. Uh, a typical home uh, you would have uh, in, in Minnesota would need uh, between three kilowatts and eight kilowatts. Okay, so uh, if you are a, if you have a very big home, you may need an eight kilowatt okay. system, uh, even a ten kilowatt system. But maybe two people in a moderate size home, three kilowatts would be plenty. Be plenty. Correct. Okay, yes. and this works now uh, when the sun is shining. Correct. What happens when it clouds over? Uh, it, uh, the, 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 there is always energy production when there is light. Okay. This is a semiconductor. A semiconductor uh, conducts whenever, whenever there is light. Okay. Um, the amount of electricity or the amount of generation will depend on the amount of light it has. Okay. So therefore, if it's cloudy, then you're going to have a small drop uh, to a big drop, depending okay. on how cloudy it is. Okay. So here's another house we can see again with the panels running across the top. Next picture. This one is an actually shore view, uh, Minnesota. Oh, so, so this is, is also in, in, yeah. in, yeah, this is uh, right here, correct. And, and there we go. Yeah, this is a system that we are, um, uh, it's actually being installed as, as we speak. This is a, a 20 kilowatt system uh, in, in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Uh, and, uh, a lot of power the, here, yeah. Yeah, and this is on a metal roof. So okay, so even uh, that works. So exactly, so, so the advantage of the solar part crown uh, design is that it, it is very versatile, it can, it can be installed in 
uh, all different uh, roof roofing materials. Next picture, please. Uh, this is a, a, a roof uh, that that we are uh, putting putting up in Waconia, uh, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 40 kilowatt system. Uh, uh, the, 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 this is a very interesting uh, design. Uh, this uh, roof, uh, they could not uh, put a traditional one because a traditional system would, would have very high uh, point loading. And with our system, because the load of the, of the solar panel is spread across many uh, rafters and the load is less than four pounds per square feet, we were actually able to put this uh, which otherwise an other system could not. So four pounds per square, squ square foot, that's uh, a lot less than a lot of the snow that we have in a winter on a roof, so pretty, pretty light. Next picture, please. Uh, the, the attach, I mean, why this, this uh, solar part crown is important is, is that uh, in a place like Minnesota, you will have more uh, penetrations compared to a place like Arizona where you don't have snow loads in Arizona, right. while in Minnesota you have. So you will have to have more roof penetrations in Minnesota or in Wisconsin so or in penetrations Iowa. Penetrations means holes in your roof. So in, so Minnesota, in Minnesota with the snow, we don't want the water and the ice leaking correct. in. Right. So, so the more penetrations you put, it's going to cost you more uh, to install the s solar system. In our in ours in the solar pod crown, you don't have to worry about and that. And here's all the states so far. Solar pod has been installed, so you yeah, can see a lot of. Yeah, we have installed in nearly 20 uh, U.S. Quite states. Quite a few. Yeah. Uh, yes. And next uh, slide, please. Uh, this is a an, uh, you know we strongly believe that uh, solar is for everyone, uh, and we try to make it that it is not just for the tax benefit. Mm -hmm. uh, solar today is being promoted uh, mostly for the tax uh, benefits. Um, by this product, what what we have done is we have packaged the system. It's a two kilowatt system. And for the first time in in the U.S., we have been able to give to our customers uh, less than three dollars a watt delivered to your door. So, wow. and and that means your payback is going to be much quicker when you install the system. And I see there too. It says installs in less than four hours. So exactly. So uh, it can be up and running pretty quickly. Exactly. And and we we say that if you can put an IKEA cupboard together, you, you can, can do this. You can do this. <laughs> now this is interesting. Tell me about this slide. What is going yeah, on this here? Is, this is a commercial installation and uh, this is a, a, a company uh, that uh, bought uh, several solar pods from us and uh, they wanted to do the installations themselves because they were, they were having their uh, employees uh, going through some downtime and they said, hey, why can't we uh, install solar pods and it will benefit us when we get busier. Now, are these the ones, they're tilted? Yeah, the, the, the another advantage of the solar pod uh, that, that our design is that you can tilt adjust to any angle that you want. Uh, you can tilt it to 45 degrees. Uh, so for you can follow the sun essentially if they're freestanding like these units. Yeah, manually though. Yes, it, it, okay. And, and it, you, the steeper the angle, uh, it's going to be better for winter uh, in Minnesota because the snow will, will fall off mm -hmm. uh, and you need a better angle of incidence uh, because the sun horizon is is very low in the winter time compared to the summer time ah, okay. so so it gives you more generation capacity in fact we have found that uh, our solar pod generates 15 percent uh, more energy than traditional systems wow so this is a home in Rogers. Um, that's right. This that's is a, a home, a five kilowatt uh, system uh, installed in Rogers. So on the back of the home, pretty unobtrusive. Does not visible from the street. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, most of I mean we try to uh, accommodate aesthetics as well. Uh, if you want. Uh, to have panels that are uh, dark uh, in, in, in shade, uh, we have those uh, also to, to accommodate uh, the color uh, in, in your, on your roof as well. Um, so I think that's it with our slides. So they're interesting and give us a sense of what the solar pod looks like. There's um, something you have called a product called um, plug and play. Correct. <laughs> Describe that for me. Yeah, the the solar pod um, that you can buy from Lowe's or uh, Menards or Northern Tool, uh, 
uh, you can uh, actually uh, buy it uh, follow our instructions and it comes with a plug and that plug uh, uh, you you we give you the male and the female and if you follow all of the instructions and you use a um, uh, electrician just for the last mile mm -hmm. to uh, to run the wire from the solar pod uh, to the, your main uh, circuit breaker mm -hmm. uh, you essentially have a plug and play system it installs this whole thing installs in less than two hours oh uh, so so that's why it's a plug and play system uh, we give you all of the uh, components uh, it installs in two hours mm -hmm. uh, it daisy chains the the advantage is that it daisy chains what as well as a consumer what I could I say it's kind of like Christmas lights you just keep plugging in and plugging Correct. in the next one and you plug the next one it works something like Correct. that something like that and and you can plug four solar pods uh, together in line uh, to one circuit breaker therefore and and the circuit breaker is similar to those 240 volt uh, uh, you know outlets that you see for your washer dryer okay. it's the it's the it's a four uh, four prong uh, uh, plug okay. and we we give you all the plug you just have to wire wire it from which an electrician does yeah, yeah. which an any any electrician can, can do easily it. do and if if they have difficulty they can call me uh, call us mm -hmm. and we will go through and give them the manuals and and any electrician who's trained has had no difficulty uh, I know even when I've moved I've had to change the plug for my appliances and electricians they don't need the instructions they come in they switch it out it's not a being not difficult for them at all and they make the adjustments so. that's right that's yeah. right the key for solar however is that it has to be uh, placed where there is no sun so you can't put this in your living room and expect uh, <laughs> <laughs> expect it to generate now, energy. Now, so so it works when there's sun and when there's uh, and reduces when there's clouds. Um, uh, is that true for all the products, or are there? I think is there one that you had you mentioned that had a battery or had something different? Yeah, we we um, are developing a new product um, uh, and. Uh, uh, we will be announcing that new product in the next uh, two okay. months. Um, uh, that one, uh, oh, you're, you're talking about the, I think you're talking about the, the solar part standalone. Stand I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry. The solar part standalone uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a, again, another solar, solar system that uh, comes with inverters and batteries and charge controllers and everything ready to plug and play as well. And that installs in about four hours. And you can, if you have a cabin or you if you want 7 by 24 uh, power, you can buy this system and you will have battery power uh, for the nighttime and daytime. So, so it stores up power then during correct. when it's sunny during the day. Correct. That's the solar pod standalone. Okay. Correct. And that is also available through Lowe's and uh, Menards and, and Northern Tool. Interesting. Um, you had mentioned that you, it was important for Maui Engineering um, that it had this mission. Um, say more about that, the mission of Maui Engineering. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I uh, strongly believe uh, that um, uh, a business has to do good uh, first before it can make money, and uh, uh, I truly believe in that. And I, I, I uh, there is nothing, there is no words that can describe my feeling on that. Uh, and uh, we uh, follow that. Uh, principle we practice that principle every day uh, to make sure that uh, we are authentic to our mission uh, all the time and, and authenticity is very important to us uh, in in the form of being true to uh, what products we sell uh, we should make sure that the products that we sell are not harmful to anyone and is um, very beneficial to everyone in the long run and we use very quality high quality people to do our our installations uh, we use high quality people even for our manufacturing mm -hmm. uh, we, we have used uh, we don't shy away from any um, you know cheap uh, or inexpensive stuff and we we want to practice what we preach and then that's the mission of Maoli engineering that's nice and I think it's important I know more and more consumers are interested in where products come from and how they affect the environment and people are interested in items that are fair trade for example or that are local 
and many people that I know would be more than interested to know that something like using solar power to supplement their home heating or electric um, is easily available and readily available and you sure. can get it at Lowe's or Menards and it isn't something exotic or special that has to be um, gotten from somewhere across the country or across the globe or get a special installer or anything like that that in fact um, it is something that could be a weekend project and could be installed and, and they could in fact reduce their carbon footprint by quite a bit. Not to mention, I think we have a lot of people who run commercial businesses and so forth and this, as we saw on the slides, ideal if you're running a business. Um, yeah, if, I mean if you're, I mean from a tax uh, incentive uh, it's very beneficial for businesses today uh, to put solar on their property because uh, uh, they get uh, not only the 30% tax credit uh, from installing solar, they also get accelerated depreciation, which a homeowner does not get. Mm -hmm. So because you're a business, you can get uh, accelerated depreciation, mm -hmm. and that accelerated depreciation helps in the quicker payback of the solar uh, system. So it's definitely benefit exactly. be benefits a business owner to, to investigate that and see the possibility there. Oh, most certainly. So. And But we I mean as a business uh, I try not to differentiate between um, you know the, the, the business wanting to buy or a non-business wanting to buy. Uh, my goal is to uh, reduce the carbon footprint that we can we can give so that the air that we breathe is clean <laughs> and that's the mission of uh, Maoli engineering. We just have a minute and a half left but tell me real quickly um, in your dealings day today here in Egan for example um, how how more informed are people becoming about solar in terms of using it? Is it something that is um, more prevalent now than um, maybe 10 years ago? Have you noticed a difference? Oh, very good question. Uh, just to give you, uh, when I lived in Texas, um, the homeowners association wouldn't allow me to put solar on the roof. Oh, uh, right. This was in in 2000. The same uh, locality when I went uh, a couple years ago has solar solar on their on on that same community. So that's a good example. In 15 years or 14 years, we have uh, come you know quite right a bit. an attitude shift. A yeah. Attitude <laughs> shift, and there is a lot of uh, still people uh, who think it is expensive. Uh, I don't think it is expensive uh, anymore. It is, uh, in fact, uh, as uh, inexpensive as anything else. Uh, they just have to uh, find, um, you know, the justification for doing it. We just and have a few seconds left, and I want to make sure people know how to contact you. So, if they want to know more, and they'd like to put in a solar pod or a standalone or a solar pod crown with no nails, um, how can they reach you? What's your uh, email contact information? Very simple. Um, if they go to my website, my website is uh, www.mysolarpod.com. Uh, so, uh, and that would uh, have all of my contact information. Everything there, how to get in touch with you, and, and products number, available. Perfect. Products available. And well, thank you so much for being on the show. I think we're out of time, but it was wonderful. You'll have to come back and talk about your new product that's going to be introduced in a few months. Thanks, that's Molly. Uh, thanks, Roxanne. <laughs>